Massage Gun vs. Foam Roller Find out if a foam roller or a massage gun is a worthwhile buy. Let's go! Number 1. The Basics of Myofacial Release To understand the point of foam rolling in massage guns, you need to understand myofacial release. It's worth noting that research on the topic as a whole is still pretty limited, so the short of it is that we still don't really know exactly how these things benefit your body. But experts have thoughts. Myofacial release is the broad term given to physical therapy methodologies that work to make fascia more pliable. Number 2. The Benefits of Foam Rolling The real benefit of foam rolling comes down to neurological changes in the muscles, according to Erwin Segia, DPT, CSCS, a board-certified specialist in sports physical therapy and founder of MatchFit Performance. When you foam roll, nerve receptors get stimulated, which your body interprets as a message to relax, further explains Wickham. Number 3. The Benefits of Massage Guns To put it simply, massage guns oscillate at different speeds against your muscles. To use it, you simply aim it at your skin and let it massage or pulsate against the muscle beneath. Meaning, unlike a foam roller, which requires that you rock your whole damn bot up and down its length, the only thing that moves when you're using a massage gun is your hand. Easy. It sounds high-tech, but the jury's still out on whether or not percussive guns actually have any effect on your body that's different in any way from foam rolling. Wickham's take? Like foam rollers, massage guns may trigger neurological changes in the muscle. Number 4. Which is better? There's no clear winner. But if you're undecided between the foam roller and the massage gun, the first thing to consider is your price range. The foam roller is the much cheaper option, says Segia. Like, much much cheaper. A quality foam roller will only cost you $10 to $20 bucks, while a massage gun will usually cost you closer to $250. That said, there has been a recent influx of more affordable massage guns on the market. If you're willing to drop the dough on the massage gun, go for it, he says. Though he adds, I'm not convinced there's that significant a difference between the net benefits of a gun compared to a roller. And, it's worth noting, if you want a tool for targeted massage, you can buy this editor-approved recovery tool for just $6. Foam rollers and massage guns are a great piece of the puzzle, but they're just one piece, says Wickham. Rolling or massage gunning alone won't squash post-workout recovery time or drastically improve mobility, but these tools combined with the right movement, adequate sleep, proper nutrition, just might.